Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the program. Today I'd like to make this uh, special tribute to the Winnebago guy. That's right. We've gone back to 1989 and uh, Jack Ribney, who was, uh, he's a uh, accredited broadcaster who was actually working for the Winnebago company to make an industrial sales video for Winnebago. And uh, his outtakes became very, very famous, became viral on the internet with the, the Winnebago man, the angriest man in the world. And uh, Archie's got a bit of that anger. And uh, I got to say, the Winnebago guy, I really love his style. And uh, I, I love his message. And uh, I recently saw the movie Winnebago Man. And uh, I was a bit saddened that uh, many, many... Um, the, the producers just wanted to sort of muzzle Jack Ribney when he wanted to talk politics and, and mention how uh, Dick Cheney was an evil son of a bitch. And uh, also mention how the Walmarts of this world are really fucking things up. And i got to be honest with you, I think Jack has got a fucking point. I think he has. And uh, I find it sad. You know, I always looked at America like the... Uh, the happy days, the, the Richard Cunningham, the, the Howard Cunningham running the small independent hardware store. But uh, Howard went out of business when fucking Walmart moved into town and slaughtered him on price. And uh, this is the new America that we live in. And uh, I got to say, you know, you know, the Americans for a long time, they've always pretended to be so good and righteous. But I've got to tell you the truth there. I really do support Julian Assange. I think Julian has fucking done some good things. And the Americans, they only get involved in conflicts if there's fucking oil or fucking resources that they want. <coughs> They're greedy fuckers. And uh, <coughs> the Winnebago man, I think, really does crystallize these thoughts. And uh, I'd like to present this replay of the Winnebago man. And uh, thank you so much, Jack Ribney, for your um, for the for the uh, the comment that you've made. I'm Archie Luxury. Please enjoy this tribute to Jack Ribney. The Winnebago Concepts and Engineering Departments have developed a multifunctional bathroom. Privacy. I don't even know what the fuck I'm reading. I wonder what the fuck the real dialogue is. What the fuck is this thing? All of the windshield for fuck's sake. Oh, fuck. What? What the fuck did I say? That didn't sound for shit, did it? And here, under the hood, we stored something that'll really come in handy if it doesn't fall out and break my leg. Ah! What we're doing is we're building a fucking industrial film. I'm trying to give these guys everything they can get to me. That's it. Fuck it. I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying. We suppose we open... Got to do it again, right now. Oh, fuck. 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 Oh, fuck. Shit. Tony, do me a favor, will you please? Will you? Will you, will you do me a kindness? Me. Yeah. I think I want to be walking in and out if you get a fuck up and I got to come back. I don't that make any difference to me at this juncture. Thank you very much. I appreciate that, Tony. Don't slam the fucking door. No more. Now listen, I've got to give a, a clue here now. I don't want any more bullshit any time during the day from anyone. That includes me. It's going to be very hot. It's going to be very uncomfortable for everybody. Want anybody yelling? We get anybody yelling around here anymore today, and then the shit is going to hit the fan. And they fit the diverse needs of a very big fern, and they fit the needs of a very diverse buyer segment. Buyer segment. I, why can't I remember? I wrote this stuff. Why can't I remember it? Eh, why don't I say it fucking right? What does the goddamn line say, Tony? What is the oh. goddamn line? I don't give a shit what the line is. I fucked up the word rear. I can't even read the fucking B.O. straight. What the fuck was that? We got flies all over the fucking place. Son of a bitch. Get out of here, you fucking flies. There's a fly over the headlight, Tony. We got flies coming for us. Fuck. 
fuck out of here, you flies. We got three flies, five flies. And if you will, make sure, if you will, we don't have that fly on the left side, on the passenger side, because that we don't have that in frame, but make sure we don't have any flies here. And we don't have any flies. Here we go. Get out of here, you goddamn jackass. I gotta read it again because my mind is just a piece of shit this morning. God, I can't fucking make my mind work. Tony, give me a towel for just a minute, please. That... <laughs> I was, I'm blinded by that fucking hot light. God damn son of a bitch! What do you mean, one? I'm gonna fall off the fucking thing. Fuck. Just keep running. Bullshit. I'm going to slate this fucker. All right, I, I haven't got time to mark this motherfucker. Here we go again. We can't hear anybody. Nobody can talk to anybody. Still speeding. Well, turn the fucking thing off, you dumbass. And I'd like to kick your fucking head in. <laughs> Meet innovation. Money. Not even funny anymore. Son of a bitch! Jesus Christ. Fuck! Holy shit. Son of a bitch. Jesus Christ. Fuck! Shit. Son of a bitch. Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck. Shit. Son of a bitch. Jesus Christ. Fuck off! What the hell's the line? Shit! What the fuck is it? Can't remember the goddamn line. The accoutrement that you will need. Accoutrement? What is that shit? <laughs> I don't know, shit. It's just all gone. I get so goddamn diuretic when I sit here, and my mouth just never stops. For 1989, each individual storage compartment has this controlled light that you can put up your fern if you want to. How's that? What shot is it? Oh, shit. What did I do? Did I walk? Did I walk through it? is going to be very helpful in keeping you from falling down, you big dumb son of a bitch. You're disturbing my, what's left of my brain. Yeah, but my mind is such shit like... To say nothing of the flies in my head. Oh, Got a no fly more. in my mouth and every fucking other thing happens. If I knew what the rest of the line was, then I would be in good shape. It's amazing how I just okay. dabble. Uh, uh-oh. I guess my mind is going again. My body is dismembered from my mind completely. <laughs> <laughs> Which is pretty average with me, but I can't think. Something is wrong with me. Why'd you think I was making this up as I was going along? <laughs> my mind isn't working enough to do this any better than it is. I was going bananas. My mind is just ready to go completely. My own mind is deteriorating. Because I don't think I can get out of this thing worth a shit. Nobody can, so, you know. Turn up a babba schnabber rubber. Burda chada bachi. Kumpacha chunja wacha wacha. Catch a shit. What the fuck is it? Did the weed change the wheel? I don't want to talk. Ranji chada ba. The sata pachakaya. French gun chata rata. Pasha. Boy, that was good. Yeah. The super storage sun cruiser offers maximum storage to a very diverse group of the ferns and the docks. The automotive fuses, they're all laying out here in beautiful condition for the fern and the dock. Let's go. And particularly at night, whenever you find your fern in your dock, I don't know. And they're made with an insulating material which really preserves the fern and the dock and the whatever, and I don't know. Shit. The Sunflyer now enjoys a full five inches in increased diameter on the fern. And the Pearl Watch. Oh, shit. Son of a bitch. Jesus Christ. Among the questions that you may be asked is, can I get this rig in and out of my driveway? Well, the answer is yes. The departure angle for the all-new 1989 Chieftain is exactly that of the 88 model. Ain't worth it. Not this shit. It ain't fucking worth it. The Mini Winnie. Part of American tradition. And today on the cutting edge of design and function in a Class C motorhome.
Let us get the fuck out of here. You believe any of that shit?